Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again, and I'm joined by Kitch, who's uh, going to teach me how to do trains. Yeah. Okay, well, lesson one, um, I think I overdid this station a bit. <laughs> no. I think I overdid all these stations a bit. Before we get started, if you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button, it helps me out, and if you haven't already joined the clan, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more great content. I don't think we're going to need this much nearly at all. Um, I don't think we're going to need the double sided at least starting out. Um, so I may just go ahead and remove half of these. Just drop them down there. Kick them down a notch. Drop it to a single unload side. I think that would be fine for, for what we're doing here. Makes sense. And uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking we may only need a two-car train for the coal. It seems like coal backs up so fast. Mm -hmm. And we're we're doing uh, we're doing uh, we're doing solid fuel, right? For the for the power, so it's not going to be doing the power. Sort of. We sort of are. Oh, that's right. It's kind of supplemented. But it seems mm -hmm. like the last time I looked up there, it was uh, it was looking pretty good. I meant to have a look a couple of episodes, an episode or two ago about uh, where the light oil situation is like. We are only burning f only burning six of our seven units. Uh, eight, seven of our eight units. I forgot there was a split in that setup. Uh, I'm just remembering we only have the fast inserter, so I think I am going to leave it at four. And uh, gosh, we need a lot of. We don't. We're not making the steel chests anywhere. Are petroleum we? is stocked. Is like totally backed up. So why is petroleum not making? A crack ton, get it? Huh? Of <laughs> um, heavy or uh, solid fuel. Well, it kind of is actually. Yeah, it's cracking like crazy. It's just not, or not cracking. It's solid fueling like crazy. Hmm. I suppose I could, I could upgrade that. Wouldn't be a bad idea, to be honest. Hmm. Over to there. Let me drop it. This. Oh, there's there. got to be some in storage. I just picked up a million of them, right? And threw them in the tr garbage. Um, shopping, shopping, shopping. Iron chest will work. Will it though? You can't overstack them with steel. I feel like running out of steel is really annoying. At all, in all ways. These robots bring me more of the unavailable iron. I mean, steel supply. Gosh, this is a great offshoot of the steel. It goes into an underground that then goes nowhere. <laughs> it's just nothing. It was just going into half of an underground. That's my missing half an underground. <gasps> nope, never mind. And now I had an odd number. I said it was the case. That much more reasonable station layout for the, the equipment that we're dealing with, and I can pack these much closer. Okay, so we super badly need steel. Super, super badly. We have six, seven, seven uh, smelt or furnaces making steel right now. Well, I think that's mostly a coal thing, right? Yeah, we're desperately out of coal and low on, very low on uh, um, iron as well. So. We can't be low on oh we can't be low on iron right? Well, I mean, I guess we can't be, but we should. Or maybe be. it's just the iron bars. I think that's what. Oh, it is. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just the iron bars that we're low on. Uh, oh, let's there. go ahead and signal this properly. Or properly ish. <clears throat> That's the good thing about having a good, very standard generic uh, train station blueprint book is that you need to change it. You've got that freedom to for it to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, station rails. Just put a bit of a stacker on here. We need the four car, and I think that will work. Let's see. And I need to put one of these 
here. And put one of these here. There we go. Uh, only mildly sidetracked. I, I think there was something productive I was doing other than running around doing this, but I just added six, uh, six chem plants to crack a little more petroleum, because apparently all our petroleum is going into, uh, um, the only thing we're using petroleum for is plastics, and we're not anywhere near keeping up, so. Boy, well, it yep. seemed like last time I looked at that, it was, uh, very, uh, light, uh, or very, very full, plastic was. Yeah, the plastic is pretty backed up. Only like two or three, maybe periodically the fourth of the eight plastic factories are running. But the issue is our petroleum gas, it was full and running constantly full, so we weren't manufacturing any more light. Ah, uh, I see. Or heavy, apparently. Yeah, we're, we're cracking, we're making solid fuel at a heavy. And pretty much no coal is going into the yeah no coal is going into the uh, fuel line now so it's just uh, coal going down to the plastic from this little patch on the west but we're gonna need coal over here again for the plastics so we do have to get a line this way at some point did I run this backwards that's going to be very unfortunate There's actually no copper. Oh, there's a 111 copper, and it's right outside of the range. That's funny. I'm going to relocate, <laughs> like, two of these things. And there's one over here. Well, that's funny. Very, very funny. Okay. Boy, it's always something like this, isn't it? You guys are going the right way. You guys are going the wrong way. Okay, so... Okay, it's, uh, easy fix. It's fiddle and make up fix things episode here in uh, the collab. Okay, so these are the parking lanes. I see. Makes sense. And this uses what kind of switch? Real chain signal on both ends rail signal in the income and chain well the, in the so you have the the like all the signals break stuff into blocks right a chain signal right. and a regular signal is the same thing except that a chain signal also looks ahead to the next signal as well so as long oh. as you don't have any other signal chain signal right here and the the uh, um signals that are at this uh, if, a, if this guy's wanting to go to the first station and there's already a train there, he's going to stop and wait right here. And he's not going to block the next guy. But uh, with a regular signal, the he other wouldn't? Station. With a regular signal, he so, wouldn't. Right? Yeah, and the regular signals are all at the here. station entrances. Yeah, yeah. I see. So he, they're all going to wait up here. And it, it, the whole idea is that if somebody's waiting on the first station, if the second guy comes and he's waiting on the second station, he's not going to block the first guy. Or the first guy's not going to block him. Right. Oh, I see. Right. Because otherwise, the, I'm like, well, why don't you just let him park here? But that means his tail would be That means it's going to block the other three stations coming in. I yeah, see. exactly. See, I told you Kitch was going to teach us something today, guys. By us, I mean me, because you'll probably all know three times as much as I do about this stuff. But, you know. And, uh, yeah, careful with that, because I just put the whole thing in backwards. <laughs> <laughs> He's just testing me, guys. I'm sure of it. But uh, we'll be able to resolve that up here, I'm sure. I'm going to go down and get some more belts, because I don't have quite enough red belts to fill in your station build. And then I'm going to try to build the track from... Oh, hello. Unload my stuff. I'm going to try to build the track from where we uh, started up at the top there. construction bots, not a lot of them. Uh, do you have, do you have a tank with you? Um, maybe. You do have one? No. There's one here. That's probably. This one's yours. I don't remember where I got it. It has no ammunition and uh, 
Oh, there's one right here in front of me. I mean mine, yeah. It should have a piece of armor in it. Yeah, this one's yours up here. Cool. And, and it's getting ready to get attacked. Oh, that's awkward. And all these scratches on the paint were already here, I promise. <laughs> They're just in orange. <laughs> I came down for something other than ammunition and a tank. Great. Get your priority straight, lad. <clears throat> came down here for some belts. Apparently the belts are not on logistics. Mm -hmm. They totally are. Why am I not getting... Oh, because I only have an order for 100. I need more than that. Oh, we don't have a lot of... We ain't got a lot of them there belt stocked. Do, 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 do. Get it. Oh, it's the... I see. So our belt situation is the lack of iron supply. Not enough gears to, run the, to make the belts. <clears throat> Coming up to Junction Central, driving a tank into everything, breaking stuff. No, I'm not actually. Felt like I was going to remind me to replace that. That's probably important. Let's do that now so we don't forget it. And uh, I have to explain to Drake why our base is destroyed. Ruh row. Ruh row. Okay, and you connect, uh, I don't know, here to where this row Just, I have to stop and fix that now because if I don't, I'll forget and we'll die. Dying bad. No die. Your blueprint seems to be missing one piece of belt. Oh, did I did I <laughs> not blueprint it right? Where I'm standing. There's a missing belt and there was a missing belt on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was uh right there. It's like a checksum. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. It's what to I make thought. sure that we go through manually and uh, trust mm -hmm. but verify. It's the box in the corner. The magic productivity box in the corner. You ever hear that story? I thought it was really brilliant. The. Uh, Guru that tells the manager how to f make his business more profitable. No, I don't know that I've heard that one. <clears throat> it would work really well for a factorial player. The instruction was that he should go uh, every week to every one of his stores and carry a special black box with him. And when he gets to the store, he has to go to every one of the four corners of the building. Whoa, there's like colored cables here. Uh, and when he got to the four corners of the building, he had to go and place the box and stand there for five minutes. And then he could go to the next one. Okay. Oh, this is a confusing junction. I'm going north from here, though, eh? Was the, oh, no, west, and then north. Um, yeah, and that was all he had to do. He had to do that uh, you know, every week to all of his businesses. And uh, he came back, and his profits had uh, soared, and the guru told him, the magic was simply in the detail. Mm. Noticing the detail. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I f have to line up, what, the power poles? I see. Yeah, you should just have to line up the power poles, and, um, yeah, you should, you should, you should pretty much be good. You should do it. What is with the uh, coloring sequence? Why? Why oh, the these are the uh, logistic wires, the green and red, mm -hmm. and um, I, I haven't really used them much, but if you do it in a blueprint and you put them down, you don't they're free. You don't have to actually have the blue and wire, really? red wires on you. 
So it's like, I might as well do it. Yeah. Then everything connects that connects to that connects to the same logistics network. So you just have to remember. Yeah. 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 So you can you can look like you're uh, really, really getting ready to do something cool. Yeah. Even though cool. you may I never. I was impressed. <laughs> Didn't take much, but I was impressed. Oh yeah, the whole fixing the whole thing. We're gonna die thing. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Uh, what? What memo did I miss, Kitch? Oh, uh, I, I had to move. I had to move a pipe, and uh, Not a fuel I, I pipe. I didn't have anything to replace it with. A fuel to defense yeah, pipe. Yeah, yeah, the one, the ones that are are saving us. I got it. I got you. It's uh, all fixed now, though. Good. Oh yeah, biters are gonna be a nuisance, aren't they? They're gonna run right across our lines, and they're gonna randomly get stuck on a power pole. And they're gonna eat the power pole. Gonna be annoying. All right. I need so... to think through where we're gonna find this. Okay, let's uh, look at his blueprints. Where do we have a turning? Do 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 do. I see. Um, the rail curve, I suppose, is the same both any which way, right? Yes, it works, works the same. The uh, if that's... you're going to the diagonal, it does not, but uh, the but curve turn is, is good. It's so beautiful. I love how they colored them differently. Like if you're placing a blueprint and the thing you're placing it on has a matching thing already down there, it goes blue. Oh I yeah. Think that's beautiful. Hey, biter. Back off. I mean spitter. I don't have my tank out here. That's less than safe. Hey, General Bismarck, if you're watching, look, I'm making tracks. <laughs> Not metaphorically speaking. Actually building train-related things. Uh, can you gate trains? Do they work consistently? Uh, yes. They will actually let you pass without running over the gates? Uh, yes. That's cool. Look, my tank. Where's your tank? Did I bring your tank up? Thought I did. No, it's down by... Oh, it's down by the joint there. Are you down there? Yeah. <clears throat> you have your tank there, then? Uh, yes, yes. Excellent. I think. I, I saw a tank, I assume. It's to your left, yeah. It is yours. Don't see any fast-moving trains down the line. I'm trying to... Oh. I'm failing. So they don't they only need the two tiles to get through, eh? Yeah, yeah. So we put gates on those two tiles? No, apparently that angle didn't work. Does that actually work? I think it should, should it? It does. It seems to. I mean, it's got special looking train, or looking gate. Yeah. It looks funky. It looks like... Oh, cool. I love that it's a different graphic. That's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it does not work on an angle. No, it does not like angle tracks. No siree, Bob. I just realized this whole episode I've had the window open. I apologize, guys. Sorry about the noise. 
Oh my goodness, and it's already <clears throat> it's already done. I can't Whoa, oh, things coming to eat my face. Run. Well, they're eating our tracks is what they're doing. They're obliterating the track. The track? Yep. They're eating nope. Uh, they're eating all sorts of things actually. They're attacking signals. I've signals. Never seen signals I think they stopped because they got in turret range. I hope our signals aren't being burned by our flames. It's not a thing, right? No. No friendly fire. I wouldn't think so. Them. I would think the I would think the uh, tracks would be burning right now if it were. This is probably true. Well, no, no it actually is burning. It's burning. Okay, that's troubling. That's interesting. Yeah, we need to move this whole track. It's got to go further away. It's got to get outside the flame line. So we're gonna have to relocate that. But that will have to go next episode, I think. Oh yeah, we're so already uh, we're already right flashing the time. Okay, I'm gonna pull this whole joint out because we gotta relocate it. Jeez, that's a lot of mess. Oh, it's too bad. It was good to find out now rather than having the whole network yeah. built and and finding. Uh... Why did iron stop? Yeah, I think that's that's really weird to me. That like everything else, like the tracks wouldn't burn, and the walls don't burn. Unless walls do burn, and I've just never seen it happen. That is kind of interesting, though. I can I can imagine a lot of fun that can come from that. Um, yes. all, finding all your signals are are messed up, but your tracks are still there. We're talking DF type fun. Yeah, why why are my uh, why are my trains colliding again? <laughs> <laughs> All of the signals gone. Oh yeah, that's that's interesting. It wouldn't destroy it; just destroy the signals. That would really mess things up, really, really badly. How are you doing down there? We uh, at a good spot. Yep, I believe so. Just uh, switching the direction of a coal line. Oh, nice. Come on, guys. Pack it. Pack it in. Get get in there. Okay. So I will try to reconnect this uh, set when we get this build when we get back up here. That's a lot of stuff. I'll come back for it. No, I missed. There's like one signal that was left from the burning mess. It wasn't cleaned up on its own. Don't die, Kitch. Oh, it looks so clean. Let's play chicken. <laughs> <laughs> if you can catch me. <laughs> yeah, this is a good point. I better stay in my tank. It's not safe. <laughs> Oh my! Bad spot! Bad spot to stop! <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I wasn't relaxing too much there. Yeah. If you walked away, that would have been the end. That would have been another the end. <laughs> Not really much of the down yet. Alright, is this my out? Uh, no. Um, yeah, I think so. Did I? Alright. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> alright, well, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. Be sure to check out Drake's uh, channel. You said you've got some you're, you've got some series that you're starting here soon. Yes, we've got uh, Frostpunk going, and soon or already, depending on when this comes out, we'll have uh, another introductory return to Castle story. Oh, okay. So. And uh, you finished your Surviving Mars series, is yes, that correct? Yes, the first season is done. Another uh, few days, probably before anybody sees the next season coming out. So the next try coming out. So. Awesome. Well, definitely, if any of those games uh, interest you at all, and even if they don't, do uh, check them out over on Drake's channel. And thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Have a good one.